Hi, and welcome to the Three Minute Product Manager and our discussion on creating teamwork. So this video will be targeted at leaders of product teams, so VPs, directors of product management, head of product, uh, or people who are aspiring to that role. I'm gonna tell you something I think you know, but there can be magic in teams. So they can produce far more value than the sum of individual work. Now, great teamwork, it depends on the relationship among the team members. So as managers, this is not something we can fully control. However, and this is a big however, we can structure our teams in a way that greatly increases the probability of success, that greatly increases the probability of teamwork. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna talk about four actions that you can take to help create teamwork. And we're going to be leveraging the work of Harvard professor uh, J. Richard Hackman. All right, here's the four steps, the four actions. So first, charter a real and defined team. Second, guide them with a compelling direction. Third, enable them with process and structure. And fourth, support them with expert coaching. We're gonna talk about each of these. All right, the first action, charter a real and defined team. So here we want clear team membership. This is specified by us, specified by management. Who's on the team, who's not on the team? Three to six members is ideal. You get more people than that. Uh, there's just really too many relationships to manage. Uh, teams are not as effective. We want these teams to be stable over time. Now, this is a hard thing for us in the product space, but we want shared learning, shared commitment. We want the team members to understand the strengths and opportunities of each other. And that takes time. So an example of this is a cross-functional product team with a product manager and engineering lead and a UX or user experience designer as core members. Let's go to the second action. This is to guide the team with a compelling direction. So this is direction that is provided by us. It's provided by management. It should be clear. It should be challenging. It should be consequential. It should be something that's best solved by a team and not a problem that's best solved by an individual. Now, we want to specify the ends, but not the means. We'll let the team figure out how to get to the ends. We're not going to specify that. And then if we do this well, it orients and energizes our team. So for as, as an example, so cross-functional product team that is guided by a product strategy, a top-level roadmap, and quarterly objectives and key results. All right, let's go to the third action. This is enable with process and structure. So this is structure and guidance on how to tackle the big problems. So we're talking about established best practices that work well within your organization. So an example of this is a cross-functional product team using a discovery and delivery process to test and evolve their product ideas. The fourth action is to support the teams with expert coaching. And here we're talking about coaching teams, not just coaching individuals. So at the beginning, we wanna coach the teams. We wanna get them you know, motivated. We wanna provide them direction. At the midpoint of their projects, we wanna talk about process and performance improvements and also about accepting diversity. So if there's somebody on the team uh, that has a different opinion than the rest of the team, view that as an asset and not a liability. And then at the end of the projects, we wanna talk, we wanna help them with retrospectives and there might be formal education at this point. So an example of this is a VP or director of product management coaching a cross-functional product team uh, with motivational guidance at the beginning, customer discovery skills during the middle of the project and end of project key learnings. Okay, four actions that we can take as managers to help create teamwork. So if we do this work well, we end up with an effective and productive team that meets the needs of clients and customers that grows in capability over time as a team and as individuals. And this is success. All right, I'm Todd Berzer. I've got my contact information here. I also talk more about creating teamwork in a Udemy course I've got. So VPs and directors of product management, finding excellence, the link to that course is below. All right, three-minute product manager, creating teamwork.